Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed, I'm Kayla Bame and you should really think about subscribing to my channel because the bestest things in the world happen when you do that. So, subscribe. So, the other day, okay, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't the other day, it was like probably a year ago. I was in Michael's and you know when you go to Michael's or even Joanne's sometimes when you're standing in line they have little baskets and stuff of cool little crafts that you can do and usually in the summertime it's like a whole bunch of like fun summertime crafts to keep your kids busy during summer well, about a year ago when we went to Michael's, we were waiting in line and there was this basket full of like crochet projects and I thought, wow, that'd be such a fun idea for a video to do a year after I buy it. But that's okay, I got around to it eventually. Uh, <laughs> anyway, there were a lot of different projects to do and yes I actually know how to crochet okay this isn't I know I know how to do some things I know how to crochet there was one really cute project that I was like oh I have to do that and it's the crochet jolly jellyfish so for today's video Maybe we'll call this summertime adventures since I'm out of school now and it's summertime. Summertime adventure part one, the jolly jellyfish. Let's do it. Okay, party people, for this video, I'm going to be doing the crochet jolly jellyfish that I got from Michaels. And in this starter pack, it came with some cotton for some reason. I never found out what I was supposed to use that for. Some light blue yarn, dark blue yarn, white yarn, and some black yarn. And it also came with a sewing needle to sew on the eyes and stuff, and a four point whatever crochet hook. And the last thing in this pack was an instruction manual, and let me tell you, I hated this thing. The instruction manual started off with basic like crochet knots and stuff like that and I already know how to crochet because I'm an expert at almost everything but yes I do know how to crochet I know the basic knots for crocheting is that what they're called knots I know the basic knots and stuff like that like I can make beanies and stuff so I thought I would be able to do this jolly jellyfish pretty easily since it seemed basic but, this instruction manual complicated things to the extreme. So, after I started reading through the instruction manual, I, I realized it was basic crochet knots. So, I kind of just skipped to the instructions about the Jolly Jellyfish. And this is where things were not adding up, people. The very first instructions I was given was to chain two. And if you crochet, you know what this means. If you don't, I'm not good enough to explain it. But chain two isn't a very big chain. And the little circle that they had for their Jolly Jellyfish that they were showing in the instruction manual did not look like they chained two. It looked a little bit bigger than that. And I don't quite know how they were able to chain two and get a big circle like that because it just wasn't making sense to me. As you can see, this was the circle they had from chain two and this is what I had from a chain two because that's what a chain two actually looks like. These are the instructions that they gave me. It just said chain two, nothing more than that right and let me tell you another thing this instruction manual was extremely frustrating to work with because for some reason they put everything into like a shorthand so instead of just saying chain two it was two ch so every so often i would have to go look at the little legend the guide for what these symbols meant for their shorthand 
while I was doing this jolly jellyfish. And while I'm trying to do my jolly jellyfish, I wasn't feeling very jolly having to go look at what the shorthand meant every two seconds. <sighs> so, after I realized that this instruction manual just was not going to work out, you know what I decided, people? I decided to take my fate into my own hands and just wing it. Because I know how to crochet, and I was looking at the picture, and I was like, boy, that jolly jellyfish looks like a mini beanie. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to crochet it as if it were a mini beanie. So that's what I did. I didn't chain two, I chained four. And then from that, I just made a beanie. I think I ended up increasing like... Two or th two or three times? I think I increased twice. Again, if you know how to crochet, you know what increasing means. If you don't know how to crochet, too bad. It basically means you're just increasing the stitch every row, I guess. I don't know. Just keep watching the video even if you don't know how to crochet. It's great. My Jolly Jellyfish came out great. Just stay. Okay, thanks. And see, I got farther winging it with my own method than, I was going to say listening to the instruction manual, reading the instruction manual. Um, had I been going off of the instruction manual, this probably would have been a whole 24 hour video. That's how confusing the instruction manual was. And winging it worked out great this far, so you know what I did? I kept on winging it, people. And then for my little jolly jellyfish's eyes, they also failed to explain it to me. So I just chained a few. I think I chained like three. And I made a small little circle for the eyes. Probably could have done the eyes a bit better, but... This is what I was working with, so this is what happened. Then I took the sewing needle that they so kindly provided to me, and I tried to sew his eyes on. Um, like I said, this could have been done a bit cleaner, but it's fine. Okay, we're not going to talk about my sewing in skills. Okay? It came out fine. I would also like to point out that on the front of this package, it did say that this was a starter kit. Like a starter crocheting kit. But, in my personal opinion, this was not a starter kit at all. Because I wasn't a beginner starter crocheter. And the instructions were super confusing to me. And I know how to do basic crocheting, okay? So I think if someone was in Michael's and they were like, Oh, look at that cute little jolly jellyfish that I could crochet for the first time. No, you can't, because the instructions are so difficult that you're not going to be able to. Take it from me, people. This instruction manual was the worst. This is not a starter kit by any means. This was just disappointing, okay? If you know how to crochet, you can try and do it and make sense of the instruction manual and then tell me what 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 I was supposed to do but as a starter kit pff, yeah right no it's not a starter kit it's a fake starter kit it's a faker starter kit okay anyway after my seventh rant about this jolly jellyfish i don't know why i'm so angry about this jolly jellyfish maybe because it's a jolly jellyfish, and I wanted to feel jolly while making it, and I just didn't. There was nothing jolly about this experience, okay? Nothing at all. But, for his little tentacles, is that what they're called on a jellyfish? A jellyfish tentacle? For his tentacles, I just tied on some string to the bottom of his head, and I started doing little chains down the string. Does that make sense? I was chaining so it kind of looked a bit braided. And then I also was just tying random pieces of string onto the Jelly Jellyfish. To just give it some variety and textures if you know what I'm saying. 
because creative discretion, people, that's the motto of this video. Through the instruction manual, out the window, used my own creative discretion here. Here's another thing about this little starter kit, okay? We're going on to the eighth rant about the Jolly Jellyfish. They gave me cotton for some reason and never explained what I needed the cotton for. And even if you look at the picture, it wasn't sewn up together. Like, he was hollowed out. So I don't know if it was just to, like, plump him up a bit or what. But nowhere in the instruction manual did they ever specify what I needed the cotton for, when I needed to add the cotton in. So I have no idea what that cotton is for. I didn't use it and I have no idea what it was used for. I'm guessing to make him appear stuffed, but there was never a step in that manual that said to stuff him and then sew him back up. So I have no idea. And for the last step of this Jolly Jellyfish in my own handbook was to sew on his mouth, which by the way, they also didn't explain how to do this in the manual either. So, his smile came out a little bit crooked, but overall, I don't think I did too bad on this Jolly Jellyfish considering nothing was explained to me. Okay? And wowie kazowie, would you look at my finished Jolly Jellyfish? Doesn't he look so jolly? Look at those tentacles. I did so good. Wow, look at him. Um, no, but seriously, he looks a little lopsided, and I can't be blamed for that, okay? So, those crochet starter kits, maybe not so starter after all. All right, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and leave in the comments down below what you thought of my Jolly Jellyfish. I always see these things in Michaels and I always want to do them, but sometimes I just don't end up buying them. But if I buy them, I might as well film it, am I right? But I'll see you guys back here next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.